Hey folks, how you doing? Finally getting on another show for you. Um, this is going to be a, a good series I want to start, and it's uh has to do with being at camp. I am at camp, just getting at camp today, Sam and I, and uh, I'm going to have um, some TSI done, timber stand improvement. I'm going to have them log this area, and I'll show you why it's just so thick in here that there's not a lot of good growth, and what has grown is pretty much smothered and but as far as it's gonna go, there was a lot of trees coming down, you know, prematurely because everything's just too close together. So I will show you some stuff, but let me show you what I got out here I gotta take care of first. Foiler on the trailer. Got a cap for the truck so I can stick stuff in there and keep the truck box in there. So I'm gonna haul that off. Here's camp. That rock pile, all those rocks to the right hand side. I might have to move those so I can back the truck up closer because I've got my my hearth pavers to put on. There's Sammy. She's excited running around. She gets tired of being in the truck that long. But yeah, I gotta move those rocks. I can back the truck up closer with that tailgate down so I can get those pavers because I have to sit on the tailgate to put them onto that deck and then carry them over to the inside on my rear end, drag myself across. It's not the easiest thing, but that's how I have to do it. Let me get to work. Well, I'm out at the food plot. I'm gonna make uh, dig up a couple more uh, shovelfuls of some dirt and get a soil sample for some fertilizer ideas and my minerals right there i didn't realize the block was still there couldn't couldn't see it in the picture anymore horse flies are out uh my son my um solar panel on that camera on that tree is bending down so i gotta fix that but uh yeah it's tons and tons of ferns growing i gotta get some glyphosate or something and take care of those stupid things but i don't know if Heavy equipment's gonna be coming in here and cutting down all kinds of stuff, so I don't know if maybe this they'll tear it up enough. Who knows? Hopefully, they said next next month, July, they'll be in here, so we'll see what happens. I got my shovel and my bucket. Dig up some holes. I'm gonna go fix that uh solar panel first. Sammy, she doesn't like the four wheel when it's running, but she followed me afterwards. She's right here. Hi Sammy. Hey, Jump, baby. Good girl. Hi, baby. There she is. Girl, girl. Anyway, I'm gonna go fix that solar panel and get some shovel holes and get the soil sample ready. Well, here's a stump. You can see I drilled some holes for that and I drilled some holes for that one. I had chopped up that mineral block all on top and the deer have got this all dug right up. So they've definitely been in the minerals and before I came in here today and my camera was telling me I had something here at 5.30 this morning. That winter rye did all right in this section, but on that section, the stupid uh, ferns took right over again. So before I leave, I'm gonna just run all that stuff right over. Hopefully I kill some of it. And I'm gonna try and get uh, some glyphosate or something in here and kill all this crap before I plant. Hopefully when they cut, I'm gonna ask them if they can clear cut about an acre in here. I want to make sure that they leave my tree stand up. So over there, I have to flag it somehow. I'll take this camera down before they come. But I'm going to put this block back up here. I'm going to chop it up with the hatch a little bit more. And you can see how thick it is all through here. That's why I have to have it cut. Everything's just growing so close together that nothing can really grow really well. So it's going to be a project, and I will uh, 
start from scratch when once this is all cut and uh work on making this a far better piece of property for animals to live on maybe have more than one plot and give these trees once i start seeing good trees i'm going to give them a lot of space i'll cut down stuff around them that maybe lesser of a tree to try and make this forest grow really well for the animals but that's my plan for now see how this goes yeah i got that mineral walk all chopped up for them help them help them out they've been at this minerals quite a bit so obviously they need them i've got my bucket over there full of dirt what i'll do is i'll mix it up when i get back to camp and drop it out in the sun and let it dry out some and pull all of the wood and stuff so it's cheaper to sell take all the weight out make sure it dries out so you don't you know have water weight when you're sending it too because they do charge you money for that so here's the minerals hope the deer are happy of the camp you can see how thick it is right in there i'm half debating on whether to keep this big i'm not sure i think it's a maple way up there you can see the leaves on it keep that one but just take out the rest just have a shade tree towards the back but if i build a deck and stuff that still might be kind of close i'm gonna take a ride down the shooting range down here and see if there's another one in here somewhere just further back and if so i'll just say yeah i can take that stuff out and uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'll show you how much I'm going here. You can see how thick it is everywhere. There's all this small stuff growing everywhere. So you're not going to get good good growth from anything. Because there's just too too much stuff growing together. And nobody took care of this from the prior owners. So I'm going to do my best once it gets cut to make it grow better. Make it be a better forest for the animals and for harvesting another time. Oh, yeah, we'll take a ride down here and down to the shooting range. That's starting to grow up already, too. I got this brush pile I need to take care of. Head that away. Shooting range. I got some stuff falling over, but look how thick it is all through here. It's all so thick, you can't, nothing can grow really well. It is very thick. This has got to be cleared. I don't see any other maples in there, but best to be safe than sorry have that one drop. Then maybe I have this leveled out with a dozer or something. And um, we can put some apple trees, maybe plant an oak or something in here. Put some shade. But, uh, head down that way further, head towards the uh, shooting range. There is a maple there, but that one is uh, kind of damaged. Let's see if I can drive out to it right now. the bottom side of it. Not to be taken down. Yeah, see how it's got a hollow end in it right there. It's not to come over this way, so that'll have to be cut anyway. Looks like there might be one in there though. Growing up. We'll see. tell. I think it might be a maple in there. This is dead. I can't even see. We'll see. Keep on heading this way. Well, there's Zaga Range. Popples, but there is a double maple right there. That's quite a ways away. <laughs> we'll see. Tammy's coming down the shooting range now. This is so much rocks and stuff in here. I'd like to get some fill in here, but it's a chore. It's driving the foiler in here with all these big rocks. There's plenty of thickness in there too. This is why it's got to get cut. It's just crazy growth. Nothing can become any better than 
the other because it's just so close together. I'll head back that way. I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we might be able to do a couple other spots just to show you the, the woods. Okay, there's the back side of the food plot right in here. My trail camera should be on a tree right over there somewhere watching that direction. So this is the back side. A lot of hemlock in here. Spruce. But it's all close and growing together. It's so thick that I need to get some sunlight to the ground in here and let this place rejuvenate. So thick in here. A lot of big rocks too, so that'll be fun with the machines. It's a big popple in here too. But a lot, you can see there's a lot of dead stuff on the ground too, because there's no sunlight coming down to the ground and they can't. So everything has to branch up way up there just to get sunlight. And all these branches have nothing on them because they're just growing too close together. Go further in. Here's my old mineral site. You have minerals there. <clears throat> but you can see how thick it is all through here. Some of this stuff's already been dying and falling down. I had to cut that across, and there's another one right there I had to cut when I first got here. No sunlight coming in here. So nothing can grow to its potential. This is an old skidded trail. I was planning on I wanted to build like a little uh, trapper's cabin up there, like a hunting camp or something, up on this hill. There's another tree falling across up there now. But it's quite a bit of hardwood in here too. Got 55 and a half acres, well, 55.4. See how it goes. Drive up there a little bit further and see what we can see. We've got a couple of beach. Two here, all narrowly and twisting. I'm gonna see if I can put something on these to say to keep them. At least these, save these ones. and. Whatever else is out there, it's out there. I think they'll do good once there's all this other crops out of here. But we'll see. But I mean, they're not in great shape already, but they got a good crown on them, good foliage. Except for that one's dying up top there. I might have to cut that one down later, but I'm trying to save some of it for some beech nuts for some animals in here. I don't want to devastate the whole population, but we'll see. You can see all the trees have already been dying because there's nothing up there for them to get to. Can't get to the sunlight. I always like this little high ridge part of the property. It is so thick and here I can see why I gotta get it cut. Open up the, open up the uh, sunlight to this area. And then I'll try and keep an eye on the trees that are growing and and we'll give them space, I'll cut around. Like if I cut a couple there, I'll cut one out of there, give each thing about 10 feet around or so, at least so they have a better chance of, you know, have more potential to grow and become a better tree. But I do like these. No, they're kind of rough shape. They do have a good crown on them, so hopefully they'll continue to grow. Whew, we're back in camp. It is hot outside. It says it's like 75. Feels a lot warmer than that. But as you can see, the, the woods is just so thick in here that nothing's really growing to its potential because it's, it's just too much stuff. And it's starting to kill a lot of stuff, so we gotta take care of it. Uh, it's gonna be detrimental for the first year, and hopefully even next year it'll be a lot of uh, small growth for, for animals to eat. And I'll try and start weeding through the mess, obviously. Make some firewood out of it, and um, hopefully extend that food plot bigger. Hopefully we can do that, and hopefully they can make the back part of the yard opened up a lot more. So uh, have like a fire break around the camp and also a wind break from any big trees landing on it. Don't want that either. And then I'll pull this uh, shed out around to this side and plow all that high ground down to the back, hopefully. That's my, my plan anyway, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's step one, we'll see how it goes.